Today we're going to cover an app that is so good at beating procrastination that you're gonna wonder why you've never heard of it. First, we'll talk about the root cause, the exact precise reason that it is that most people procrastinate, how it is that traditional methods usually miss the whole point, and then finally, the app that takes it all and is going to get you the final distance. There's a lot of things that I want to do in life. I want these things and I still can't start them. Why is that? Now, a lot of people, maybe they tell themselves or they tell each other, you got to really want it. I got to unblock my life. I need the right time management tools and techniques. Once I've understood what the root cause is, I get those perspectives, but they're not ones I can get behind anymore because there's a whole other angle that we could take to this whole thing, which is people procrastinate when there are no consequences. People procrastinate when there are no consequences. Now, the idea of unfulfilled potential, unrealized gains, that pain of regret, that's too abstract for me. If that works for you, then please, by all means. But for me, for, as a normal guy, I need consequences because if I don't start the violin tomorrow, I'm still gonna be chilling. I'm comfortable. Now, why this is relevant is because if the key focus is consequences, we have to look what are traditional productivity tools and methods and apps using when it comes to consequences. Now, from what I see, these apps are not really targeting consequences, most of these apps are meant to reduce friction. When it comes to Pomodoro technique, uh, calendar time blocking, idea capture, look, all those things help. All of those things are fantastic and should be part of a productivity routine, but they only deliver value if you're a doer. I'm not doing these things. I'm lazy. I'm the guy who's been procrastinating. So, when these things aren't addressing consequences, do you see how that doesn't help me? For me, when I have reduced friction and I'm not already moving, nothing's gonna happen. Just so that you understand, there are aspects in life that I've not struggled with procrastination with. If I don't deliver my report, I'm getting fired. That's a consequence. If I don't write my thesis, I don't graduate. That's a consequence. And this has already been working for most people. Procrastination, that's common. But getting fired, that's, that's rare. Getting fired is rare. Not graduating is rare. Most people make it to the podium. If I have that generative drive of a deadline, I'm going to hit the deadline. And I'm confident you would too. If I gave you a deadline, I have trust in you. I know you've been hitting deadlines your whole life. If this method has already been working, the power of the deadline, why am I turning to these other things? And so these traditional methods miss the whole point. All right, so this is the solution that I have for you, the simplicity and effectiveness of this app. This app is called Forfeit, and the premise is incredibly simple. It introduces consequences through deadlines. So you put in your goal, you specify when you're gonna hit the goal as well as what evidence you're going to give that you have actually completed your goal. Now, what's the consequence? You're going to stake a certain amount of money and if you do not hit your goal, your money is gone. Now, I don't know about you, I don't wanna lose my money, so I hit the goals and I keep hitting them again and again and again. For you to understand why this is so effective and to get rid of any skepticism of, oh, where does the money go? Oh, how do they verify all this? No. For me, if someone has both taken my money and I've just failed my goal, why would I ever go back to you? For me to go back to someone in that kind of scenario, you have to have such overwhelming value delivered in my life that I have to concede, listen, you caught me on a slip up here. You've taken my money. Take this $10. I filled my goal, but I know and I trust that I have such a track record with you that I need you in my life. So to wrap up, should you download Forfeit? Look, in life, there's a lot of hard questions. This is not one of them. Okay, go ahead and download the app. And 
If you found anything that works better than this, I want to know because I only know what I know and there might be something else out there. But from what I see, the effectiveness and simplicity of this app, I don't know why you try anything else as a first line of defense. Once you've gone through and you are a doer, get in all the other apps, but this is all you need to get that ball rolling. Introduce some consequences, download forfeit, take care.